Wednesday night around 8.30, 8.30 p.m. We are on the football field. They're coming here, just getting ready to start. And they all come. The stage. You got a couple of parents here. A couple of parents here in this team. Are you guys are you gentlemen participating? Yes, sir. Oh, let me talk to you guys. Okay. You come on over here. He does a lot of talking. <laughs> come on over here. I'm gonna talk to you gentlemen for a minute. All right. So a couple of fathers here. Yep. Are your daughters or sons here? Sons. Okay. Daughter. He daughter. has two sons here, and I've got my daughter Brianna McGinnis is here. Well, great. Why? Why are you guys? Are you guys going through the pearl? Absolutely. That's right. Why are you guys going through it? So for our daughter, for my daughter, the fact that she's in Bring It. If I didn't come and bring it as well, I mean, I'd just never be able to live with myself after that. So she's going to be setting the standard for me, and I want to make sure I hold her to that. Looking forward to it. All right. I was challenged by my sons, but. I actually just wanted to humble my heart before the Lord and just see what the Lord could draw out of me during this time. So I'm looking forward to that. And forth, what kind of goals do you guys have during this, this weekend? Drawing closer to God with our kids. For me personally, yeah. you know, making sure that all the works that we've done in here with her up till this point, I've already seen a transformation since she's been here at Honor Academy. And being able to take that to the next level and drawing her closer to God and our whole family that way. So, so she's yeah. been here for like three weeks. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. What about your your sons? My sons, Zach has been here a year, a little over a year, and Josh started in August. So uh, we've been kind of following it. We've known quite a few people that have come here and they just spoke highly of it and they've grown from it and they were challenged and stretched. And so that's what we want to do. We want to be challenged and stretched. Well, you're two of the parents here. I've seen more parents here, so <laughs> yeah. we're glad you guys joined us. Right, we're doing Mason Twist. Twist. We're going to do 30. 30. Ready? Ready. Begin. One, One two, two, three, four. four. And rest. Right now, what the participants are doing, right now in this element, they're working their core. We're taking them through several different core exercises, um, getting them ready for the pearl. Um, we've been doing a corporate exercise in the morning for the last several weeks, getting them ready. Um, after they leave here, they're going to be working on their, their, um, their marching, standing at attention, um, formation. From there, they're going to go meet with the medic and the medic's going to train them um, some basic first aid, um, things that they may be feeling during the pearl. And after that, they're going to work on some more elements as the pearl will begin sometime tomorrow morning. So that's what we're working at right now. You can see in the background there at the football field. Right here, we're at it's in the pavilion. It's a big white tent that um, Team Andy uses primarily for global expeditions in the summer. And uh, many of them have been on global expedition mission trips. So, the names, the names of these teams are Massachusetts. Is that correct? No. No, I apologize. What's the name of these teams? Okay. We got Oklahoma and what kind of people in Alabama? There they are. Okay. You're resting. And these, comp these uh, teams here, they're getting their core ready, strengthening their core. Back in 2001, there was a young intern. His name was Brian. Brian went through his, his Pearl experience. On the Saturday of his Pearl experience, he was, getting, he was getting cold. So he went up there and rang the bell. After ringing the bell, he came over to me and gave me a big old hug. I still have it in my mind. He gave me a hug. He was just crying. Just crying because he had a goal. He didn't reach it. I encouraged him. told him it was okay. That was back around 2000, 2001. Ten years later, Brian comes back to the Pearl. No longer is he 20, 21 years old. Now he's in his 30s. He came down to Pearl last year and I asked him, I said, Brian, why are you, 
why'd you come down? He's from Canada. He flew down here. I said, why'd you come down? And he said, Heath, I want to learn patience. He said, I'm married and I'm not patient with my wife. I'm not patient with the people I work with. And I want to learn patience. You guys here in the Pearl, you're going to be learning patience. Some of you get very irritable with people. Some of you get very sharp with people. Some of you um, have a quick temper. Here at the Pearl, you're working together with your teams, with your squads, and some people are gonna run faster than you or not run so fast. Either way, it's gonna test your patience. We're praying that the fruit of the Spirit, patience would come out. You're gonna be able to work with your, your teams when it comes to walking out patience. Brian, as he went through his Pearl last year, um, you, you continue to learn patience. I just talked to him last week and he's still, God's still working his life when it comes to patience. We're gonna do heels to heaven. Heels to heaven. Your legs are at a 70 degree angle. When I say up, that's when your legs will go up and your hips will come off the ground. You'll count the, count at the top. We're gonna to do nine. Nine. Ready? Ready. Up. One. Up. Two. Up. Two. 